Hi everybody. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Okay, it's been a while since I filmed a video because I've been so busy dealing with um, everything. If you follow me on YouTube or Instagram, you know I recently started law school. So it's been crazy busy because I attend law school full time and work part time. So when I'm not working, I am studying or attending classes or um, when I'm not studying, I am working. So <laughs> it's been crazy busy, but I'm back. Um, so today we are going to talk about one bag per season tag. Um, so this tag was started by Liz Hurling and um, I was tagged by lovely Lux Handbag Lover. Thank you for tagging me, Tarina. If you don't follow her, you guys are missing out. She's awesome, so please follow her. Um, so, okay, let's get started. Um, so this tag, you basically, um, you just basically need to pick out one bag, only one bag per each season. So I think Liz, did her video by using a wish list bag and Tarina Lux Handbag Lover did her video by um, using the bags that she owns. So I'm gonna do kind of hybrid sort of thing. Um, so I'm going to use the bags that I own and um, also include bags from my wish list as well, kind of. Like it's wishless, but I do own like dupe of those bags. So let's get started. So since it's September, it's early September, fall is starting. So let's start with season fall. So for fall, I am choosing this lovely Louis Vuitton um, Pochette Matisse. I absolutely love this handbag. I think the color is perfect with fall season. Um, and it fits all my essential. It's got plenty of um, spaces to carry all your daily essentials. So definitely my choice for fall is Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. I still have this plastic cover on my hardware because you know if you take it off it gets scratched a lot so i still <laughs> have this plastic cover and i wrapped the handle uh, with this toilet to protect the vachetta leather so anyway it's i've owned this for about i would say about six months now um and it's in excellent condition um still there is no problems whatsoever. I think the previous models had all kinds of problems like cracking and melting of the glazing. Mine is in perfect condition. This is 2000. This was made in 2020. So if you um, notice this part right here, the seam line goes deeper inside. So you can't really see this the same line of this cover on unless you like really open it up so I really like that about this new 2020 model so anyway so that's my choice for fall now moving on to winter so for winter I'll have to choose one from my wish list and that is Chanel small me uh, no not small sorry Chanel medium double flap um, classic double flap caviar um, leather. Uh, so I'm gonna insert photo here, uh, somewhere here. But I do have a dupe for the Chanel classic flap. So this is Coat Parker with this uh, rivet um, and chain strap. So I got this purse because I I am financially not in a place where I am willing to spend 
um, six thousand dollars on Chanel. I guess now it's almost like seven thousand dollars if you consider tax and everything. So I'm not. I'm just not willing to spend that much money on a purse right now. So I decided to um get this this coat purse instead because it reminded me of chanel um classic flap or this chain strap i i love this chain strap by the way it feels really good to wear it um it feels good to the touch um and it feels pretty comfortable on my shoulder it's got nice turn knock um, and inside is like this nice um, burgundy microfiber. It looks, it's really nice quality with really good detail. And it's got plenty of space to carry all your day-to-day -day essential. There's middle divider pocket, which goes like all the way down here. It's not, it's connected on the bottom so things don't slip through so it's really great um it's got this back pocket uh it's a little scratched here but please ignore that <laughs> i almost wish this back pocket was also coated like this part but that's okay because usually you don't see the back part because it's used against your body anyway so that's my choice for winter moving on to spring now for spring i also have to choose one from wish list i'll put photo somewhere here and my wish list is hermes kelly and um epsom leather in red color so i think that bag is absolutely gorgeous but again i am you know just not willing to spend upward of ten thousand dollars or so on a purse at this point um i would much rather spend that money on something else so it's from my it's on my wish list but i don't see myself purchasing that bag anytime soon so what i have here is a dupe for Hermes kelly epsom leather epsom leather um so this is basically a no brand bag it doesn't say any brand name it's a no name bag basically so it opens it has this turn lock i ha it comes with a lock but i put it somewhere else because i don't use the lock so sorry let me put it down and open this turn lock it's just like kelly it opens up like so and it's got the back pocket and these pockets right here the lining is um fall leather the lining is not real leather but the outside is real leather real epsom leather so i thought that this was really good dupe for me to um get so i have this dupe i wrapped the handle with the toolie as well so this would be my choice for spring i think this bright red color goes really well with spring color or the flowers and everything so that's my choice so there you go now finally summer for summer i've chosen my beloved multicolor louis vuitton multicolor trueville i absolutely adore this bag i wrapped the handle with twilly um i thought that this twilly is a really really good match to this color palette because it's got this green color palette and then it's got this pink and a red palette right there so i thought this color would be like a really good match so this truly has like a half green and half pink color so i have a matching twilly on both handles so here's the back 
absolutely adore this bag. So it's got really nice um, burgundy color. It's like a, I think it's like a suede or a microfiber. I'm not sure. Um, it's made in France. It's got this pocket. It has also has this uh, smaller pocket. I think this was meant to be a cell phone pocket because this model, this is like what, seven, 15 year old bag. So like back then cell phone used to be a flip phone um, and it was smaller. So I think this is meant to be a cell phone pocket, but I guess I could put in like lip balm and stuff like that. So, oh, I have this, um, it's got a little bit of a musty smell because it's really old bag. So I have this um, charcoal air, air purifying stuff in here to observe all the smell. So it's working um, really well. So it's, it doesn't have that musty smell anymore. So anyway, so it's got like plenty of space to store all your daily essentials. So that's my choice for summer. So here we go, summer. Here's spring. Here's winter. And here's fall. So here are my four choices. If I can use only one bag per season, these are my choices. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, uh, if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing and you know hit that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. And um, that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.